Now at six, moving forward after a tragedy. It's overwhelming. I came this morning to take pictures, cried my eyes out a little bit. Parents and students. It's hard to see it, but heartwarming at the same time. At Stoneman Douglas High School are there as the memorial is packed up six weeks after the deadly school shooting. Moving day for the memorial proved to be an emotional day. You almost figured it had to be. Everything packed up from outside the school is going to be preserved. CBS 4's Ted Scouten live at Stoneman Douglas High with what's next. Ted. Hi, Rick and Lauren. Well, when students return to Marjorie Stillman Douglas High School after spring break, things are going to look very different. Right over here, this is where all those crosses were, as well as the stars of David up there and all the mementos there all gone now, as well as everything that was on the fence. All of that, most of it, is in storage. One by one and with great care, the crosses and stars bearing the names and pictures of each of the victims are lowered into large boxes, put there for safekeeping. We're honored to be here just to help preserve these items for the families and the friends. Um, our, our hearts are with everyone here at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. Lori Sokoloff and her friend Kathy grew up in the area. They came to help pack up the memorial, knowing that every item left at every monument has meaning. People come and they've all placed these items with love and with care um, and with sympathy and, and mourning. So you, you, you want to take care preserving them. Each medal, chain, and memento is carefully placed into bags, and volunteers snap photographs at every memorial to make sure items go where they belong. The mounds of flowers left at the site are not being thrown away. Instead, they'll be returned to the earth, used as fertilizer at community parks and gardens. A little therapeutic, a little makes us feel useful in a time where we feel useless. So um, we just really want to preserve the memories for the families. Kim Singer's children go to school here. She had to be here to help, to do her part to support those who lost children and loved ones. If you could put in a box the outpouring of love that the world has for these families, I mean, they can't go in a box, but that's what we're trying to do. Now everything will be put into storage as the community figures out what to do with the items that mean so much to so many. We hope they're going to put them in a, they're going to make a, a special place for these items to go after we're preserving them all, whether it be at the park, at Pine Trails Park, um, somewhere close where we can all go to pay our respects to these individuals. So most of the items that were here in front of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas are now at Florida Atlantic University. They're being held in an air-conditioned facility so they don't deteriorate. Live in Parkland, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Ted, thank you. The